Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are new to my channel, then please feel free to click on the subscribe button in order to receive notifications for any new videos that I upload. I also offer one-to-one -one coaching to those of you who need support navigating life after a narcissistically abusive relationship. Please check out all the links on my YouTube page and of course you can find all the information that you need on my website at couragecoaching.net. Today I'd like to talk about the different types of questions that you will usually hear from a person who has narcissistic personality disorder. Now there are some particular questions that will give you clues about whether somebody is a toxic individual, whether somebody has NPD. And these types of questions are usually questions that make you feel really uncomfortable. There are narcissists out there who will use certain type of questions to bait you. So these are known as baiting questions, but they will also use other types of questions which in many ways, although they ask them, they have already figured out an answer for themselves and they don't generally ask genuine questions. Narcissistic individuals are not genuinely interested in you as a person. They're not interested in how you really feel or how you see things. Usually when they are asking questions, they are trying to gather information in order to manipulate or control you or essentially find out what your weak spots are, what your sensitivities are, so they can use these things against you in the future. They are only interested in hurting you. They are only interested in getting their needs met at all times because narcissistic individuals are unfortunately extremely self-centered. Now, a very common type of question that you will hear a narcissistic individual use is something known as a loaded question. Now, a loaded question sounds a little bit like this. Are you really that sensitive? Are you really that stupid? Now, when you hear somebody say that to you, it doesn't make you feel very comfortable, does it? Because they are insulting you when they are actually asking that question. So that is an example of a loaded question, and this is something that you will hear from a toxic individual. Now, a second type of question that you will hear a narcissist use is what is known as a coercive question. Now, this type of question forces you to do something. It is asked in a way where you feel like you have to do something. So an example of this could be you are coming to the family lunch, right? You are attending that meeting, right? So you're basically expecting them already to be somewhere or to do something by asking them this question. So this is a coercive type of question. Another question that you will hear somebody with NPD use is a rhetorical question. Now, rhetorical questions are not very comfortable either and they are not really meant to be answered. So an example of this would be, why are you acting in such a nasty way to me? Or, I see, you think you're better than me, don't you? So when you're saying that to somebody, well, the person feels uncomfortable, first of all, and you will reply, well, no, I don't think I'm better than you. So yes, it will make you want to reply, but you will feel horrible doing so. You will feel uncomfortable doing so. Another example of a rhetorical question could be, why are you acting so sensitively? Why are you acting so aggressively towards me? Another example could be, if you are such a thoughtful, caring person, why aren't you more forgiving towards me? Do you see what effect this kind of question has? It will make your blood boil. Now, another type of question a narcissist will ask is known as a dichotomous question. Now, this is usually a yes or a no answer. And again, it's another question that makes you feel really uncomfortable if you are on the receiving end of it. So an example of a dichotomous question could be, do you really think that you are better than everybody else? Again, this is a question that doesn't exactly um, 
enable a healthy conversation? This is the type of question that puts you on the spot, that makes you feel uncomfortable. Generally, narcissists will also resort to interrogating types of questions. So they are trying to find something out. They want you to admit something. They want you to say something that will benefit them in some way. And there are these tricky kind of questions which are a bit like baiting questions. Although they come across as um, genuine, as empathetic types of questions, if a narcissist asks these questions, well, sadly, they are not because they don't actually um, respond to you in a way where it shows that they are actually empathetic or that they actually care. So in general, somebody would say, tell me what I'm doing wrong. And when a healthy person says this, well, it sounds genuine, right? They really want to know what they're doing wrong because they want to fix it, because they want to be better or do better. But when a narcissist asks this, they don't truly mean it because they only want to gain knowledge about you. They just want clarification, but not because they want to genuinely find out why in order for them to be better, but because they want to spin the conversation in a direction which eventually you will end up being the one at fault, where you will feel at the end of that conversation that you have to apologize, that you've done something wrong. Unfortunately, this type of question wasn't asked because they wanted to gain uh, genuine understanding um, or make any changes. They only asked this question because, well, they wanted to hear your point of view, but only because they want to later use that against you, only because they want to make you feel bad about yourself and make you feel crazy. Another type of baiting question is something that sounds like this. What do you actually want me to do? And unfortunately, when this comes out of a narcissist's mouth, it isn't because they genuinely care and they genuinely want to change their behavior because it makes you feel better. They don't really honor that, even if they ask that question. So even if you were to tell them, well, I would like you to do this, this and that, they are not going to actually do that. They are not interested in being better. They are not interested. They just aren't. So, of course, it makes you want to explain that, you know what, it would be helpful if you could be a bit more polite or a bit more respectful or if you could respect my boundaries. Even if you say this to a narcissistic individual, it makes no difference because you will not see any change. Lastly, another type of baiting question is something that sounds like this. Why does that bother you so much? Now, again, if somebody healthy were to say this, it shows curiosity and it shows that they care about why something actually bothers you that much, right? But again, when a narcissist asks this question, they have only got one thing in mind. They just want to know what your core wound is or where your buttons are so they can press them. They only want to know this truly because they want to manipulate and control you, because they want to hurt you, because they always want to have the upper hand. So when a narcissist asks you, why does that bother you? Please don't fall for that. This isn't actually something they truly care about. Remember, when narcissists ask questions, they are usually self-centered. They usually have a purpose that benefits them. They are usually constantly wanting to be in control. They are wanting to convince. They are wanting to coerce. They are wanting to meet their needs. They don't care about your needs and they don't care about having a normal, healthy conversation. Now that is the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.